The Labrador Retriever is America's most popular breed of dog and the third most popular breed here in the UK. However, the German Short-Haired Pointer has been growing in popularity all across the world. But stick around and find out what makes these two breeds so popular and which one might be the perfect choice for you. Welcome back to the Femre German Shorthead Pointer Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you become a high level canine leader that can raise amazing German Shorthead Pointers all whilst learning everything that you could possibly want to know about this incredible breed. So if you love the German Shorthead Pointer as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll never miss a future German Shorthead Pointer video. So then let's dive into today's video as we compare the amazing German Shorthead Pointer with the Labrador Retriever and uncover which of these two breeds could be the perfect canine companion for you. And we're going to start with the easy stuff and that's with their appearance. The German Shorthead Pointer is what would you would expect from a hunting dog. They are agile canines with long legs, an enthusiastic gaze and medium sized floppy ears. Their bodies are covered in short, coarse fur that comes in striking solids, patched and roan patterns. Their tails were traditionally docked to a bob, but we are now seeing more and more German Shorthead Pointers with their long, natural tails. This breed is of a medium size and can weigh up to 25 inches tall and weigh around 70 pounds. Now, labs share some features with the German Shorthaired Pointer, but a few key differences in appearance. The lab also has floppy ears, and they share the same spark of friendliness and enthusiasm in their eyes. However, they are just slightly more stocky than the German Shorthaired Pointers. Their coats are also short with coarse hair, and they possess a double coat, which helps to repel water. Now, the Labrador comes in three primary colours, yellow, black, and chocolate. This breed is also a medium-sized canine, and they stand up to 24 inches tall, and weigh up to around 80 pounds. And now let's dive into their exercise requirements and grooming requirements and we'll compare where they're different. Now the Labrador and German Shorthead Pointer are pretty evenly matched for exercise requirements. They are both working breeds with high physical and mental needs. They don't tend to wear out quickly and if you can get them to expend most of their energy, they will be roaring to go again as soon as you say the word. A mere walk or play session in the backyard will not be enough for these breeds to be really fully satisfied. These two breeds are also pretty equal in their grooming needs. They both have short haired coats, but they do shed regularly. Though you can minimize this by grooming them once a week with a brush or a pair of grooming gloves, maybe more so in the spring and autumn where they blow those undercoats. So then what about health and life expectancy? Well, the German Short Haired Pointer and the Labrador have the same average lifespan of 10 to 12 years. And when the topic of health issues start to arise, the German Short Haired Pointer and Labrador are also pretty equal. Health issues for the German Short Haired Pointer include hip and elbow dysplasia, bloat, heart issues, eye problems and cone degeneration leading to day blindness. The Labrador's most common health issues are hip and elbow dysplasia, eye problems, bloat, and EID or exercise-induced collapse. Sorry to very quickly interrupt the video, guys. I just wanted to let you know, if you haven't done it already, over on our website, FenrirK9Leaders.com, we have a completely free quiz that I designed myself for you to be able to take. It asks you a few questions based on some of the things that I think are really important for what guard dog breed will be perfect for you. So you go through that quiz, you answer the questions honestly, and then at the end, it will give you what I think the perfect guard dog breed for you is. And again, it's completely free, just trying to help help you guys out as much as we can so again there'll be a link down to it in the description box below if you haven't done it already go even if you're not necessarily interested in getting a guard dog breed anytime soon i know a lot of people have found it really fun just to see what kind of breed i would recommend for you so get stuck in go and have a look but without further ado we'll get back to the video you were just watching so then we're going to look at their temperament and social needs but as we go forward with the rest of this video it has to be with the assumption that the dog has been given proper socialization and training from a young age and we also need to assume that both dogs are of correct temperament and disposition for its breed standards as that's what allows us to make a fair comparison. Now the German Short Head Pointer and Lab are similar in temperaments and their social needs. The German Short Head Pointer is friendly, intelligent and eager to please. They enjoy being with their human families immensely. They also make pretty good alert dogs though that is the extent of it as this breed is very friendly. 
The lab is relatively similar, like we've said, and the most significant difference between the two is that the lab is more outgoing and is a friend to everybody. This is a breed that just loves everybody, though they will let you know if someone is around. Because this breed is so friendly, they are also very socially demanding, and they want to be in your company whenever they can be. So we need to make sure we're being careful, proactive, and preemptive with setting our dogs up for success with separation anxiety. So this is where this comparison gets fun, and that's the intelligence versus the trainability. The German Shorthead Pointer is one of the world's most diverse and popular hunting breeds. The breed excels both on land and in water, and to this day they are still one of the most successful breeds in field trials. This breed is undoubtedly an intelligent one, and though it is still used primarily for hunting and as a family companion, it is slowly making its way into other fields of work, such as bomb detection. The German Short Head Pointer is a biddable breed, and this contributes to making them relatively easy to train. They are also fun-loving breeds, so if the training can be exciting, they will undoubtedly want to participate in whatever it is that you're trying to teach them. Now, the Labrador is no slouch either. This breed is just as intelligent as the German Short-Haired Pointer, and like them, they love to have fun and have a profound desire to make their people happy. This lends itself very well to any training efforts and can make the process a really easy one. As long as they are given a good outlet for their massive amounts of energy, they can focus on whatever it is that you want them to do. Or better yet, turn your training into a game that will also help them to deplete some of their need for activity. So I hope you enjoyed that quick fire breakdown of two of the world's most popular hunting breeds, the German Short Hair Pointer and the Labrador, two breeds that we absolutely love here at Fenrir. If you did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button. And remember, if you're new here, to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We've got two new German Short Hair Pointer videos coming to this channel every single week. And I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir German Short Hair Pointer Show.